Hey everyone, it's Alex Goff, and I'm looking at a play from the Women's Super Series that looks awfully familiar. It's Maëlle Philippon's try for France against New Zealand. It all starts with a penalty kick attempt from fullback Jesse Tremouillère. A nice kick, ball bounces off the post. Maybe that's the end of it, but no. Philippon racing in, grabs the ball, and scores a huge try for France. A bit of luck, maybe? Maybe, maybe not. More like the Black Ferns were asleep at the wheel, and France was awake. Let's look at it again. Ball hits post. We'll freeze it here. New Zealand should be in position, but they really don't look like they're in position to me. Normally, defending a penalty goal attempt, you have at least four players in front of the try line. Maybe more. Six, eight would be great. Everybody turn toward the posts. New Zealand has one, two, three, and that's about it. There's a big old gap right here where there's no one. Second, have a look at Carla Hahepa. What's she doing? Basically, she's in no woman's land. She's not behind the try line. She's not in front. She's not watching the French pursuit. And finally, look at Kelly Brazier, a veteran who has almost 40 caps to her name. She's already clocked off and decided the kick is going to go over. The result? The ball bounces down where that fourth player should have been, and Philippon, who's been chasing and watching the whole time, grabs it. Even after she has it, she's got work to do, but Brazier stops moving for some reason. Hohepa, she's still nowhere to be seen, and flanker Marcel Parks gets there only to make a feeble attempt at a tackle. Now, contrast this to a try from round 12 of the French top 14. When the team does everything right defensively, it still doesn't go their way. Former all-black Liam Messam chasing this kick from French international Francois Trinduc. The difference here is that Lyon's defense alignment is fine. The kick looks to be going through, but just hits the crossbar. Lyon has 10 players in front of the try line watching the posts, and the ball just bounces perfectly for Messam on the chase. Of course, Lyon also didn't have enough players to make the right tackle to stop Messam from scoring. So the message seems to be clear. Chasing a penalty sometimes pays off. But as the USA team shows here, if you pay attention defensively and you react to what actually happens, not what you think's going to happen, you can make sure a ball hitting the uprights isn't a disaster.